everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ichimi. So on today's episode, we are going to take a look at some AIoT products from Xiaomi and that includes a vacuum cleaner, a hairdryer and also a security camera. Besides that, our Prime Minister has also announced that Malaysia will fully launch 5G by the end of 2021. But could this be true? So let's find out on today's episode of Ichimi. Rabbitcare has introduced a Skip Stop Express service on the Kalana Jaya line which will operate during the morning rush hour period. There will be three Skip Stop Express trains that will depart from the Gomba LRT station at 7.50am, 8am and also 8.10am. The trains which head to Ampang Park will only stop at Wangsa Maju and Setiang Wangsa station, skipping a total of five stations. The trains will resume normal service after Ampang Park where it stops at every station. According to Rapid KL's FAQ, the service will only operate during the weekdays except for public holidays. And for passengers on other stations, they can still board the normal train service to get to their destination. If accidentally board the express train and will need to stop at the skip stations, you will need to get off at the next stop and take the train heading to the opposite direction on a normal train service. During the launch of the Mi 11 smartphone, Xiaomi has also announced three new products to their ecosystem. This includes the Mi Vacuum Cleaner G10, the Ionic Hair Dryer H300 and the Mi 360 degree Home Security Camera 2K. The Vacuum Cleaner is officially priced at 1,099 ringgit in Malaysia. You can get it with official Malaysian warranty on the Xiaomi official online store on Lazada and Shopee as well as authorized dealers in Malaysia. The G10 will be available on the 26th of March 2021. The hair dryer on the other hand is priced at 129 ringgit and it will be available in Malaysia on the 13th of March 2021. You can also purchase it from the official online store on Lazada and Shopee as well as authorized dealers. And if you're interested to get the security camera, it is officially priced at 189 ringgit which is 30 ringgit cheaper than the pro version. And as usual, you can order it from Lazada and Shopee as well as authorized dealers on the 13th of March 2021. As announced by the Prime Minister, Malaysia will fully launch full 5G services by the end of 2021. This will involve an investment of 15 billion ringgit throughout 10 years. Instead of giving spectrum to individual telcos to an auction, the 5G spectrum will be managed by a government-driven special purpose vehicle. This is aimed at reducing upfront costs for telcos as they can offer 5G through a wholesale agreement. During an interview with Bernama, the MCMC chairman Dr. Fadullah said the 15 billion ringgit investment will come from the private sector although it is worked through a government entity. At the moment, there are no details yet on the SPV and there are 10 months left to go before 5G is scheduled to go live. Here it is, the Samsung Galaxy M62 that has a huge 7000mAh battery is officially here in Malaysia and the best part is you can get it for less than 1600 ringgit. This device is officially priced at 1999 ringgit but you can get it for 1599 ringgit during the 3 3 sale that's happening this Wednesday. However, it appears to be sold exclusively on their official online store on Lazada. Like we've mentioned in the previous episode, the Samsung Galaxy M62 is apparently a rebadged version of the F62 that was launched in India. The device features a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED Plus display and it runs on an Exynos 9825 processor with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. And yes, that's the same processor as the Galaxy Note 10. Besides that, it also comes with a quad camera setup and like I've mentioned before, it comes with a 7000mAh battery that supports 25W fast charging. And thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you can stay updated to our future videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!